All right, what is up, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and I am here with a narrated showdown Wi Fi battle video today. Thank you for coming to this battle. If you end up liking this, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. I had one of the easiest classes today for college. Just a freshman, easy kind of day there because you get a syllabus and you introduce yourselves and everything and you know it took half an hour so easy day I, I i ended up you know uh getting in there doing the class and then managed to edit some videos here and there and now we're here with this awesome battle so i'm not on the team builder so you don't have to skip it to anything but i do want to make note that we are doing the ru tier today so rarely use pokemon like dragology and blastoise and heliolisk all these pokemon that you see on the screen here um, I do have a new team. First up, we have a Dragology with a Dragon Fang. It has the typical set that you see on Dragology. You know, Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt, Sludge Wave, and um, Hydro Pump. Blastoise is bulky this week. I put Leftovers on him. Leftovers, and I, I believe I went with Aqua Ring at one point, and I changed it. To rapid spin because I figure you know having stealth house and sticky web on my side is just not very efficient in some cases. More like stealth rock issues, but I changed it. He also has scald and ice beam just for some damage. And then we have a swallow here. This particular swallow is very typical. Has the flame orb, therefore you know facade double power. It also has Brave Bird and um, U-turn quick attack. Or no, not quick attack. It has protect. Very bad. I, I ended up tweaking a few things here and there, so that's why I kind of say things. I kind of changed the set a little bit before I started recording. We also have a, it's hard to see it, but it's a Beware with Bulk Up. Bulk Up, Beware actually does not shine through this battle, which is a disappointment because I wanted to use him. I haven't really used the Beware before because it's brand new. We have a bulky Cofagrigus with the Will-O-Wisp and Destiny Bond. I tried using it, but then, you know, sometimes I screw up, but it's okay. And then we have Rhyperior Choice Banded. My opponent has a Torkoal and a Charizard, so I'm considering that this is a semi- Sun team, kind of, but you know, you have Vaporeon and Kamo'o. So it, I guess it's just a standard team, just, you know, different sets. So we have Torkoal um, and Heliolisk, Vaporeon, Gardevoir, and uh, Charizard Kamo'o. So let's go ahead and play this thing. I'm actually going to change the setting to slow so that you guys can see the play a lot better. Um, I make sure that this is off on the music and we can get started. So um, my opponent starts off with Torkoal. I'm going to start out with my choice banded Rhyperior. I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake. We take out Torkoal, no problem. I was expecting him to have a Focus Sash and set up Stealth House in my face. He does not have that, so if he has stealth house, I don't have to worry about it anymore. But here, I just, I ended up screwing up. I really should have switched out in the swallow they're expecting. Well, if he was expecting me to switch out, I guess it was a gamble, but I lose Rhyperior. Had I seen the grass not coming, I would have gone into swallow. So based off the damage, it's kind of hard to tell, but I was assuming that it was choice specs, so I made that bold decision to go into Swallow. Either way, I will get my guts boost from the Flame Orb and pretty much go with a Facade. And we almost take out Vaporeon, but we come out real short. And now I want to switch out going to Blastoise, expecting something like if he was going to go with... I wasn't really sure what he was going to go for. It's kind of odd. He goes to Scald. Um, I don't know why. I, sh I really should have stayed under, to be honest. 
because I believe it's coming for another facade and finish off Vaporeon. But Vaporeon actually is going to be a pain in the butt later. So we go into Blastoise and I go for Toxic. And we poison Kamoa, which is perfect. I don't know what type of Kamoa this is. I saw the trailer for his new Z power move coming in Ultra Sun and Moon. He goes for Outrage. And Outrage doesn't do as much. Well, I mean, it did a little bit of damage, but if he was choice banded or something like that, it would have done a lot more. So that's good to know. Anyway, so, um, I go into Cofagrigus. I figured I could use Cofagrigus at this point because, and holy crap, that does a lot of damage. So he might be a choice I don't know. But that is doing a lot of damage. So, you know, you have that happen. He has himself in confusion, which I ended up going for Destiny Bong. He is faster than me, so going for that move was not the brightest idea in the world. But that is okay. He ends up getting KO'd anyway, so that was a weird set of events there. He goes back into Vaporeon. Goes for the Scald. This particular Cofagrigus has a lot of special defense EVs. Um, because I know it has... It already has good physical defense in the first place. So why not put yourself in this position where, you know, Scald isn't going to do as much. And then we can just go from there. Unfortunately, we put ourselves in a stall war where it's like we have Vaporeon going for Wish. And then I try using Pain Split and Shadow Ball to try to finish off Vaporeon's career. But we don't do it properly. I ended up switching out at this point, going into Swallow, because seeing that this isn't going to work out, we tried doing it, but it just, we're so close. You see that HP bar, and then it goes back into the green, all because Vaporeon is going for Wish and getting its HP back. And I'm just suffering from the burn, and I'm going for a pain split. So we're recovering quite a bit here. I I only have five Pokemon left, and my opponent has four. So I have the upper edge here, is what I'm saying. So whatever happens, I kind of like to have Cofagrigus around a little bit more. But, you know, losing Cofagrigus at this point is no big deal. So whatever happens, it's okay. So we see another set of the same moves there, and I decide to switch out, go back into Swallow and just go for the facade. I really should have done this earlier, but alas, I didn't. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. I go with another facade and we finish off Vaporeon. Yes, we finally finish off that Pokemon. Unfortunately, I have to take more burn damage. I don't have Roost on this set. Maybe next time I'll put Roost on this Swallow. Well, here's Charizard, and I'm fastening it. I almost KO him there. I don't know if I should have gone with a facade or whatever, but we lose Swallow in the process, so he goes for Dragon Dance. This is scary. Very scary, because I don't have anything. I try going to Beware, hoping to take a hit, but he goes for the Z Power at plus one. Very unfortunate. So like I said in my quick analysis there, Beware is not going to do much in the spotlight. Ugh, that did not work all that well there. And then I go into Cofagrigus. He really should have attacked me there because I was going to go with a... I ended up going for Destiny Bong. If I went for Shadow Ball, I would probably not kick out Charizard, but it would have done some damage. Man, I'm not doing well with Cofagrigus today. But that is all right. He goes for Earthquake, and that is good coverage to know. Here I'm trying to make sure that Destiny Bond works, but I kind of screwed that one up. So that's another error for Cofagrigus, and we lose Cofagrigus. What was I doing? I don't know. But we have to take out Charizard and a Gargavor and a Heliolisk using my Dragology and my Blast Slice at this point. If... Charizard had much more options besides Earthquake. He would have taken out Blastoise, but I just go for a Skull and I finish off 
the Charizard, no problem. Alright, so here's the Elisk. I was expecting him to be faster, and that is indeed the case, because Blast Blastoise is not that fast. But then, uh, Heliolisk against a Dragology here. I know I can take a hit because Dragology is pretty bulky on the special side. Yeah, no problem. So Hyper Voice takes a little bit of HP there. Go for the Sludge Wave. Finish off Heliolisk. All you have to do is finish off the Gardevoir. Unfortunately, the Gardevoir has Trace, and Trace is adaptability, my ability there, and then goes for the Sun Shock, outspeeds me, and that's the end of the battle. So, it turns out that I had the upper hand there, but in the end, like, we didn't touch the Gardevoir much, and we lose the battle. So, I don't know what I should have done there. But that was a great battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So stay tuned for another battle next week or so. And uh, yeah, have, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.